What is going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new video. Now of course I'm recording this video vlog style because somebody has stolen my chair where I always use to record my intros in. And it doesn't really seem that he's gonna go anywhere. <laughs> But in today's video guys, we're going to compare After Effects 2020 versus Vegas Pro 18 because last week we compared Premiere Pro 2020 versus Vegas Pro and everybody was wondering what After Effects is like versus Vegas Pro and even like other programs like DaVinci Resolve compared to Vegas Pro. If you like to see like a dedicated series where we're gonna compare all these softwares, what the other software can do that the other one can't, make sure to let me know down in the comments. So let's go ahead and start comparing After Effects with Vegas Pro 18 of course right after the intro. Alright guys, so before we're gonna actually compare After Effects 2020 to Vegas Pro, it is actually pretty, pretty important. I want to basically point out that After Effects is not really an editing software. Well, technically it is, but the title of the software says it itself. It's called After Effects. Once you have done all your cutting, your music, everything in Premiere, that's what you also have to do in that program. It's time to apply the effects afterwards. So that's why it's called After Effects. You don't want to go and like cut and apply like for example color grading or trans well color grading you can do in After Effects but I would just when it comes to like trimming music and timing it onto the sound and like cutting and making transitions you all do that in Premiere Pro and then when that is done you basically want to import your Premiere Pro project into After Effects so right now that's also the case for Vegas Pro because believe it or not Vegas Pro has now a bundle which is called Vegas Post and that is kind of like comparable to After Effects you use Vegas Pro 18 the regular version for like cutting and like music and like transitions and all that just like you would do with Premiere and then in Vegas Pro you would also just use for example Vegas image Vegas post for all the effects after it like you would do in After Effects so right here I have Vegas Pro 18 open you guys are familiar with that software for years now and I also have After Effects I actually got After Effects for like this uh, monthly subscription because believe it or not if I google After Effects one-time purchase it literally says on Google just just like with Photoshop, Illustrator and various other Adobe programs, you can purchase After Effects as a single app subscription which is $19.99 a month and that's why I that did as well because you can also get Vegas Pro at a subscription or like a one-time payment but Adobe thinks like alright After Effects and Premiere Pro that might be a little bit too much upfront and it's also a lot more beneficial like you know monetary wise for Adobe in the long run if they just use subscriptions every month. So let's if I go ahead and boot up After Effects, the 2020 layout is not really really that different than other versions but it comes down to actually being pretty much the same and like the layout and the UI is all basically like the same as you guys are used to because Adobe and Magix and all these softwares don't really like to touch on their UI that much for every single version because everybody gets used to these layouts and if they're gonna go ahead and bring up a brand new layout every version you gotta get used to it again so right here in After Effects we have like this really short trailer of like tape shaped strokes they're just introducing the basics to you guys but you can just X that out if you you want to and you can get started right away so if I actually close out this menu this is of course our timeline in After Effects we have our new composition menu right here we can also use a new composition from footage it's also really cool you can also customize your timeline and everything to make it bigger depending on like how big your screen is if you have like a 40 inch TV or like a 40 inch monitor you can actually make this really really wide so you can see all the tracks you can also just customize it completely and make the preview screen a lot bigger so now that we have a little bit more of a backstory why you cannot purchase After Effects like you just like a like a one-time payment you just have to be monthly let's go ahead and compare these two softwares and see what it does okay so for vegas pro you guys also know the backstory that it is now owned by magix because it was founded by sony that's why it's called sony vegas but it actually got taken over by magix from like 2016 and that's why it also says uh this software is now owned by magix before it was developed by sonic foundry in between 2003 and 2016 it was owned by sony creative software and then for after effects it says this software was developed by a company of science and art where first two versions were released after this was handed over to aldus which acquired by adobe for vegas pro and actually sony vegas but we're just going to refer to vegas pro 18 it is actually been founded in the late 90s the first versions of sony vegas were actually released in 1999 compared to after effects where it was founded in 1993 and now to this day it is also compatible with both operating systems such as Windows and Mac and After Effects as well. This software runs 
on Windows, Mac, Android, iPhones, and iPad. A little background info is always helpful. And right here, they also give you the key differences between Sony Vegas and After Effects. Both are popular choices in the market. Let us discuss some of the major differences between Sony Vegas or Vegas Pro 18 versus After Effects. Before we start in finding in the key differences between Vegas Pro and After Effects, we should know that After Effects are completely different softwares. It is compositing software rather than editing. And that's what I refer to in the intro. It's mainly just for adding effects you know, visuals and all that instead of like regular editing and cutting and all that. Vegas Pro 18 languages include uh, English, Spain, Fr French, and Dutch, but in After Effects languages includes as English, Chinese, German, Indian, Japanese, Spanish, French, Russian, Italian, Dutch, Turkish, Swedish, and so on. So it's actually very, very cool that they have many, many different languages. Some of the features of Vegas are automatic crossface, adjustable UI appearances, 4K support, logical dock window controls, DVD and Blue Blu-ray disc author, fast and smooth timeline editing. Some of the features in After Effects are immersive virtual reality effects, motion graphic templates, VR comp editor, enhanced 3D pipeline, GPU accelerated effects. So the difference are actually pretty, pretty big because they also state right here that you cannot really compare After Effects versus Vegas Pro. And that's actually kind of true because we might have to like take a look at like Vegas Post because that's like an entire bundle when it comes to like, you know, getting like a lot of visual effects like you would do in After Effects. But it's actually pretty nice to see because a lot of people are switching back and forth between these softwares Like they go back to a Premiere Pro and then they use After Effects Many different people use Vegas Pro and then they switch to Vegas Post for all the effects So both Vegas Pro and After Effects are the most recommended software amongst the users But as per the feedback many users say that using Vegas Pro is hard and they have to opt for tutorials and classes That's what my channel stands for people have issues with Vegas Pro They always look it up and they end up having you know looking on my channel and that's why they also can find it out because of course I made After Effects and Premiere Pro tutorials in the past as well but the connection is not really that big as I have with Vegas Pro obviously. Right here is a very interesting point because right here it says Sony Vegas as per cost is concerned this is an expensive software and for After Effects it says this is cheaper than Vegas Pro. Now it depends on what kind of payment do you choose because of course Vegas Pro if I go to the Vegas Creative website Vegas Pro 18 is right now on sale for $599 unless you want to upgrade then it's only $249 so when it comes to After Effects, I think that After Effects is going to be even more expensive because why wouldn't Adobe say like, all right, instead of having a monthly subscription of 20 bucks a month, let's go ahead and also bring up this one-time payment. But if I'm going to be honest with you, if you're going to pay, for example, like a one-time you know, amount for After Effects or Premiere Pro or like a bundle containing After Effects and Premiere Pro, that might up to be even like a thousand or fifteen hundred dollars for both of these software since they're so high end because of course Avatar you know it's really really like heavy effects wise it is edited in After Effects and that says a lot because of course on the website of Magix I'll also leave that link down below if you want to pick it up you can also get your purchase but what is really cool is that they also have a monthly subscription just like After Effects has so if I click on Vegas Pro 365 if you're going to pick your 12 months and annual payment that's going to be $19.99 a month and I think that's exactly the same for After Effects and that's something very clear that you see right here on the website so for the individuals we have 60 49 euros a month and I think that might even include like Adobe Audition for editing audio we have Premiere Pro uh, right here we have Premiere Rush we have After Effects but if you want to get these separately After Effects runs for 24.19 a month compared to Premiere Pro which is the same we have Premiere Rush which is 12.09 a month we have Audition which is also 24.19 a month we also have Adobe Spark which is 12.09 but I think in this case if we have like multiple Adobe softwares I wouldn't actually run every single subscription separately per software because that's going to be more expensive so i would just pick this all apps for like 60 49 because also it has the best value says right here all right so now that we are in after effects what is really cool is that we have if i'm going to create a new composition real quick i'm just going to drag in some random footage this is just a random screenshot from the studio a couple weeks ago so the very cool thing is that if we go to the very top right right here we have audio but we're not going to pay attention to that because this is in photo so if we go to the effects and presets it is actually Actually very 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 wide of, an, of a range of what you can choose from because of course Vegas Pro has a lot of you know pre-built transitions and a lot of pre-built like text effects and you know all these things but right here in After Effects they actually spend a lot of time thinking like all right what is an After Effects user 
gonna need the most. So if we scroll down through it a little bit, we have the noise and grain, of course, like all kinds of filters, we have the perspective, you have simulation, stylized text, time transition. What actually blew my mind is that in After Effects, you even have pre-made intros. It is that crazy. In Vegas Pro, you have to like, you know, kind of separately, you know, use every single asset and make it yourself. The cameraman of, of the documentary we're shooting showed me this and I was just so blown away that this is just all like pre-made for you. You just have to go ahead and change up the text like you would download like an intro template and you open that up in Vegas. You just change the text and you're good to go. Okay, so right here we're on the core of forums and of course this is like the biggest question I get and also said that in the previous video about Premiere Pro versus Vegas Pro last week that, that I get like tons of questions like what is actually the best software or which one should I use and right here Nick Covains actually responds to it very very accurately he says it really depends on what your goals are because if we're gonna compare two movies for example Paranormal Activity which is edited in uh, Sony Vegas I think maybe around like 12 years ago you can actually see that it's a lot more basic of course we have like a lot of cameras around the houses in these movies they're switching back between angles there's not really like that that movie is not really like vfx heavy but if you're going to compare that one to for example like avatar it has a lot of you know color grading motion tracking like visual effects you have to kind of blend in 3d scopes so that's a really really big thing that it depends on what your goals are you can also compare that if you are editing a photo do you need just a really really tiny thing that you can do in paint you don't have to use photoshop for that but if you want to have like really really advanced you know masking and like a lot of filters you can use photoshop for example by adobe or like you know vegas image to you know you edit your photo so it really depends on what your goals are let's say you're creating video for web or you want to add stunning visual effects to your projects then my vote would be premiere and after effects chances are good that you are using design software as well photoshop illustrator with the latest creative cloud suite you have access to all of these programs and they play so well together that your results will be astounding that's a really really good point guys it just depends on your goal if you're going to be editing for example like standard vlog with like a couple of transitions and background music you don't really need after effects that can all be you know completed into vegas pro but even like motion tracking can be done in vegas pro for like i think two or three versions now for like years ago it just depends on what you want the end result to look like at the end of the day and it is not really that complicated so guys if you are thinking about getting after effects make sure to just grab your subscription it's only 20 bucks a month and that's exactly the same for vegas pro it's also just 19.99 a month you can cancel at any time can these softwares actually be you know compared to each other technically yes but practically no because of course depending on how heavy the effects are you would actually be better off with after effects but who knows that vegas pro is going to be a lot a lot more advanced in like the upcoming new versions so guys make sure to also pick up vegas pro 18 if you feel the need to through the link down below that really supports the channel and also leave an after effects link down and also the links to these forums so you guys can get your research so I want to thank you guys for watching. That's all I have for you guys today. If you guys are new and if you enjoyed this video, make sure to reward it with a like down below and I'll see you guys obviously in the next video.